A police crackdown on seatbelts in WA is netting a disturbing number of parents who don't buckle up their children. One unrestrained kid was even being driven by a childcare worker. Police target parents near a northern suburbs primary school. Oh, here we go. On the lookout for children who aren't wearing seatbelts. It's part of Operation Travendi. Among those busted near Karamar Primary School this morning, a childcare worker. Fined because a child under seven wasn't strapped in a booster seat. That's someone that should, uh, that does know the rules and regulations about restraining children. That's their job, that's their livelihood. Of the seven seatbelt charges laid this morning, six involved children. Last Friday, 24 drivers were fined for seatbelt offences. Although the motion of buckling our seatbelts should be second nature, statistics show it's still a major problem on our roads. Between 2009 and 2013, more than one-fifth of those killed in car accidents weren't wearing seatbelts. That is a shock for us because there's some pretty clear indications out there of what children should be doing in cars. Car crashes are the biggest cause of death for WA children. A child under six months old should be in a rear-facing infant capsule. Between six months and four years of age, children must be in a baby seat with a built-in harness. Kids aged four to seven years must be strapped into a baby seat or a booster seat. Children older than seven can sit in a normal seat with a seat belt. Police will continue to target parents near Perth schools in the coming days. Rachel Carey, Nine News.